Hi friends, today I'm whipping up some easy tried and true chicken fajitas in the slow cooker for the family. I'm actually gonna make enough for at least two meals because when I'm filming this, it's a Saturday. So we're gonna have this for dinner tonight and then we're gonna have the leftovers tomorrow after church. So I won't have to cook dinner for real this weekend. It'll be great and that's why I love my slow cooker. So I'm gonna give you an overview of what I'm using to make these chicken fajitas. Let's see, right here I've got two packs of chicken breast. They both come in to be about six pounds of chicken breast. I have some different colored peppers, some green onions, some tomato paste I'm gonna throw in there, and then my seasonings, which is garlic powder, some chili powder, a little parsley, and then good old fashioned salt and pepper. So we'll get to chopping. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get all of our peppers ready for our fajitas. And I know this one. we love, everyone loves to get a big plate of sizzling fajitas What's at a restaurant. One? Those are peppers. But this is the quickest way I can replicate it without, I will cut those without standing over the stove for an hour. So we're not going to do that. We're going to get our fajitas in the slow cooker and we're going to go about our happy day. And then around dinner time, we will pop them out. Boy, I don't have a good knife for this or I'm just not pushing hard enough. There we go. My favorite knife is being washed. Could you eat mommy? I will. How many peppers can mommy cut at one time? So one just time. one, one at a time. One at a time. Liam's working on chopping peppers like a big boy. I'm chopping peppers. And, oh, and Amelia's working on her pepper. I need to get you a little plate. Mommy. And a hairbrush. I need a little plate. <laughs> you need a little plate. I'll get you one. Mommy, yes, Liam? This. Look at you. You're doing so well Mommy, with that. Mommy, I'll be careful. Yes, and you have a butter knife. And you're learning very well. These are good knife, kitchen Mommy. skills. I have a butter you knife. You do. You do. So here is how... Our pretty veggies turned out, and now I'm going to show you mommy. how I layer everything in the slow cooker. So with cooking in my large slow cooker, what I normally do is I just use some cooking spray. This is canola oil cooking spray, and I spray out the inside of my slow cooker. Now you can get even fancier than that, and I have linked below. You can use the slow cooker bags. Those are great for if you have a real hurry, or if you're making a lot of different slow cooker meals back to back for particular reasons. Those liners just go in here, you put your meal in the liner, and then after your meal, you can dump the whole liner out. Super convenient. But for my purposes, I'm just going to spray out my slow cooker. And then next in this recipe, I'm going to put in a small can of tomato paste at the bottom of my slow cooker, just the way I usually layer it. Now there's really no magic in me putting in my can of tomato sauce. I just like to do it because it adds to the juices and the flavor and the marinating. So here's how the small can, here's how the small can of tomato paste goes in there. And this is just a little six ounce can. With the boneless, skinless chicken breast, you can go ahead, especially with these packs that are unfrozen, you can go ahead and chop these chicken breasts in strips. I find it just as easy and convenient to put whole chicken breast in the slow cooker and the meat will be so tender and juicy that by the time this meal is done, it is easy. I can just stick a fork in there and I'll show you when we get to that step and this chicken's gonna easily rip apart. It'll be absolutely not a problem. Another thing is if this is a freezer meal, you can do this meal and adapt it easily to be a freezer meal. And again, the meat is just gonna be so tender, you don't have to fool with cutting it first, or you can. It just depends on what kind of assembly line you're doing and what other meals you're doing at the time also. So I'm going to just put these chicken breast, I'm going to do these along the bottom of my slow cooker. I 
And if I was just doing one meal, I would use about four or five breasts. These are a pretty good size. But since I want to have leftovers for tomorrow, and maybe even a few leftovers for tomorrow evening, I'm gonna use eight. So I have four in there. And I'm gonna layer four more on top. Hold on, Amelia, I'm gonna put four more on top. And these cook perfect in the slow cooker. Since these are not frozen, they're fresh from the store, I'm gonna cook these on high for about four hours. If this was a frozen meal, I would cook it on high for probably closer to six or longer. Pretty much it just stays on high all day long until dinner time. That's how my slow cooker works. So now I'm gonna layer the various spices in here. And again, what I have, we have some black pepper and this is real professional cooking here i'm gonna just shake some black pepper in yes i am and then i'm gonna shake some sea salt in there because remember this is gonna go for eight chicken breasts and i'm gonna shake i'm gonna do a whole lot a lot a lot of garlic powder you see that flying up that was probably about a fourth of a cup and a lot of parsley let me get this opened up a little bigger Got some parsley in there, and I'm gonna stir this around to get over all the chicken breast here in a minute. And then I'm gonna put in a bunch of taco seasoning. Exact measurements will be in the recipe that is linked below. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up these chicken breasts and just let the seasonings fall below. And there's gonna be all kinds of good juices that marinate all day long in this slow cooker. So here is our board full of lots of veggies and Mr. Liam is gonna be my handy dandy helper. And Liam is covering the chicken. We'll have to wash your hands well after this too with the onions, okay? And we've got peppers and green onions. The only thing we don't have in here is a green pepper, huh? Good job, Liam. You're doing a great job with that. I'm just covering our chicken. It's gonna soak up the chicken broth all day. It's gonna be amazing at dinner time. Good. Good. Now part of what you put in there, Liam, was onion, so I want you to go to the bathroom and wash your hands now, okay? I'm going to put my lid on my slow cooker now, and all the work is gonna be done for me as we have I'm our wonderful day baby, outside. Mommy. Oh, you've got another pepper, put it in. That was one Amelia cut. So I'm going to do the hard work of putting this lid on my slow cooker. My slow cooker is on high. In a perfect world, this recipe only needs about four hours, and it's going to be totally done. And we will check back later and let you know how it works out. Giving you guys a quick update, I have been pushing down and just kind of shredding the chicken with our metal spatula here. I'm getting ready to do dishes and work on getting the table ready. I am gonna drain a couple cups of this broth off, but besides that, this has turned out to be incredibly, whoop, whoop, hot smoke on my, this has turned out to be incredibly wonderful shredded chicken fajita mix with peppers. And I'll show you what they look like when we get, what our version of fajitas looks like once we get ready at the table. This is how I put our chicken fajita mix into a bowl and now I'm going to make a couple fajitas and show you how they turned out. So I've done a layer of the chicken fajita mix, a layer of cheese, and a plop of sour cream. And I also sprinkled on a little Parmesan cheese because many of us like that here. And now I'm going to wrap it up and we'll have fajitas. So guys, this is how our slow cooker fajitas turned out for us. We've got them going on different plates. And of course, a big plate of garden cucumbers to go along with it. We'll see you with another brand new video next time. Bye-bye.